Monty, how are you, brother? I'm good, Scotty. How you doing, buddy? Outstanding. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Well, we got a 1950 GMC truck. Um, it's a lot of custom. Uh, right. The front end, rear end's all 77 Trans Am donor car. 77 Trans Am. 77 Nobody Trans uses Am. That's right. right. So what, what gave you that idea? A, just a, that was the car we had available, so uh, we used it. Old uh, old time old hot rod, right? Exactly. What's out in the field? That'll so, work. Uh, we, <laughs> so we uh, we took a 350, um, bored it 60 over, put dual fours on it, and uh, dropped her on the ground. And uh, is that on bags, or is that it, where it sits? That's where she rides. No kidding. So, um, we cut some leaves and cut some springs and and got a good stance out of it. Took oh, it it's up. got a beautiful stance now. And you said how long has this thing been done? It's been about 15 years since this one was done. So, so that, that when you picked that color, that was that somebody. It was just yeah, I was going to say people around. were thinking to you, hey, this are you a, sure that's what you want to do? Yeah, this is a sublime green, but they call it with a twist, and basically it's got a little more yellow in it than right. the sublime. Right. So if you put it next to a, a Dodge, right. you'll see the yellow compared to. But right. It uh, the color will change a little bit in the sun and and. There's a lot of just the combination we really went well together nailed it nailed that man now tell me have you done any kind of body mods to it uh sure we, of course we uh shaved the gas tank smooth we've got honda civic door handles um we didn't go for the totally smooth handles but right. um of course we've shaved all the emblems off of it um the fenders have been rolled two inches and now, so when somebody doesn't know down, what you say, you roll them two inches. Explain to them. Basically, what you is. just you cut them out, make them a little rounder, okay. so that tire will fit in there, right. and you can set the truck down. And then they actually re-roll it. So there's been two inches basically lost off that fender. I got you. Um, the bed is actually off of a 54. If you'll notice, it don't have the angles. Um, put her customized, put her own wood bed down in it. Uh, got that from Horky's. He done an awesome job of cutting what I needed and what I asked for. So that was just custom for this truck. Yeah, it's because like yeah, because you don't this bed don't actually go on this right, truck. Right. So um, from the cab backs, all um, it's all stock truck and wow. just modified it to make it work. Right, man, I like that. I like the color combo. I like this GMC on the back, dude. That looks cool. Now that's not the way it was, right? No. Tell the, me that's custom. That's, I'm not that's an actually, idiot. The GMCs actually was there, and then we started outlining and highlighting and bringing it to. So. Now, the M was done that way yeah, originally? Yes, that is. That's I a stock a tailgate. because, yeah, yeah, there's no way I yeah, thought that had been real. But see, again, that's for the 54, right. and this is a 50. Right, so right. there's been a lot of changes. We also done the one-piece front windshield. If you didn't notice oh, it that, had a bar in it. It yeah. had the bar. So you just, Where are them taillights from? Them taillights are actually out of a cutlass. Really? And they are parking lights. And you would you turn it? No, they would have been that way. I'd say turn them sideways, but no, that's the way <laughs> yeah, they were. That yeah, that is the parking light. Wow. So we had to build a back on them, right? So just so we could set them in the roll pan, right? And uh, so the trucks had a lot of different things, like you said, what you can find. Right, right. So when you got something, you, you look at it, you, you can say, afford yeah, it. You're like, that'll work. Yeah, right. there you go. Somebody's like, that's a parking <laughs> lamp. It's gonna be a tail light in my that's car. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And the front are out of the same car, so wow. they work great. And then you got black chrome wheels, and I'm a big fan of those. Love the black chrome, uh, 17 inch. Uh, all the way around. All the way around it. Went with the low profile. Right. Um, my dad does a real good job of picking out wheels. He he knows wheels. So, all right. Um, he really he liked the offset, liked the tire. We bolted them up, and they've yeah. worked. So very cool. Totally impressed. Man, for sure. No, I can't believe this thing's done as long as it is. Then you got the dual antennas in got there. Got dual antennas. One of them kind of originally for a CB. Right. Just didn't go with the CB, right. but, but did go ahead and keep it in there just for that French look. So, so you're saying back in the day that was an option, was yeah, it? Yeah. Well, no, no. We yeah. actually did that. It was oh, our option. I got you. See you what I, I mean? got you. So, I got uh, you. It was just, you know, people look at it. Yeah. And you do that French work. Right. No, that's nice. And I like the interior. I like the bench seat. That's always cool to see. That's actually out of an old Cutlass also. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody oh. went with the, the bucket seat. Right. We just, we just wanted to do that bench, give it the pickup truck right, look. Right, right, right. No, I'm with you. And that's the thing. I don't... I don't think it would be as cool if everybody did a bench seat, but I'd like when somebody can get one to work on theirs, right. you know, throw it in there. Right. 
What we got going on under here, Monty? All right, bud. We got a, a basically a 350. It's board 60 over, like I said. It's got the, the, the uh, dual Edelbrock 4 500. Two four barrels. Two four barrels, and uh, it's got a progressive linkage. So cruising down the road, you're just running off that backside. But whenever you want to call on it, you got a thousand CFM. So right. um, basically, you're only you're only talking about 350 horse. It's um it's kind of a cruiser. Right. Uh, we didn't want something that you know where we was building a lot of temperature and. and you, you want to be able to hear yourself sure. think so and put, i mean i'm guessing and i don't know because i don't know nothing but i'm guessing you could have got away with one four barrel but you wanted oh to i've had to, one yeah. i've actually had one on it right and, you know uh, what to look at the two is cool they, 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 they come out with that a couple years ago and and my dad was we was walking down through a, like a little swap meet and right. edelbrock had their big semi and he goes I like that. All right. So the next thing I know, I'm standing in front of the Edelbrock trailer going, all right, right where, do, where do I buy it? Right. And uh, so we went and picked it up, swapped it out over a weekend, and just love, love the response. And, and so many people talked about the look. They didn't dirt shines come a long way. Right, so. right. Tell me, we got anybody we need to give a shout out you to? You did. Um, I got my dad. Uh, my dad's a big part of this. We do it together. We've been doing things together for years. I got a lot of friends involved. My interior guy, Rex Carpenter. Um, I can't thank him enough for the help he's gave me. And uh, like I said, just a lot of friends calling them and asking questions and, and picking their brains. Right. Tickled to death. So. Monty, it was a it was a kind of a community that did that. Yeah, right? you sure, and your yeah. friends, friends and family. That's what it's all about. We do this as a family. Uh, we travel a lot, right. and uh, I'll be in North Carolina this year. We've been in Tennessee. You already. show the truck? Sure, that's where you show it at Tennessee. That's a good guy's winner at Rogersville is where I just came from. Oh, really? They had a memorial cruise down there. Right. Uh, but we won at Charlotte with it at the Good Guys show. What are you two going? You going to uh, Columbus or Louisville? We'll be at Columbus. We'll be at Louisville both. See so, you there. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Be great. Folks, there you go. What'd you say? It's a 50? That's a 50 GMC. 50 GMC pickup. And uh, you want to see it in person. This is this is a cool truck. It's not a high dollar custom, but it's just a cool driving truck. Been done 15 years, holding up well. Monty says he's going to have it in Columbus and then at Louisville both. Great chance to see him. Both good shows. Of course, the Scotty D Travel and Charity Road Show is a good one, too. From Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.